A teenage girl in Nassau County has been arrested in a disturbing attack on another teen at a basketball court. We want to warn you, video of the attack that was posted on social media is graphic. Deputies say the teen who was arrested told them she was, quote, just having a bad day. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avigny has been reading through the arrest report and is joining us live. Eric. Yes, that incident happened on a public basketball court similar to this one. Investigators tell me that the uh, two girls seen in that video had beef with each other that had been going on for at least the last several months, and that is what led up to what was recorded in that video. Now, in the video, we see a girl on the ground and another girl standing over her. Deputies say the girl who is standing pushed the other girl to the ground. We can also see the girl on the ground being slapped and punched in the face by the girl who is standing over her. The girl doing the slapping and punching is telling the girl on the ground to hit her back, but the girl on the ground refuses and continues to take more hits. This incident was reported to the Nassau County Sheriff's Office last night, but deputies say at the time, the mother of the girl who was on the ground did not want to press charges. But after learning this video was uploaded to Facebook, the girl's mother changed her mind. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says there is a reason why so many of these types of videos are frequently popping up on social media. They're all over social media. They're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're on Snapchat, they're on YouTube. They're all over the place. And people who publish these sort of things or, or, or post these sort of things are looking for some type of notoriety for it. Now, it's worth mentioning that the girl who was arrested had prior run-ins with the Nassau County Sheriff's Office for similar incidents. As for the girl seen in that video taking the slaps and the punches, I'm told that uh, uh, she was taken to a hospital to be checked out and is doing quite fine today. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.